Good morning and welcome to The Core Connection. I'm Mira Rubin here with you on Enlightened World Network. And uh, today's topic is breaking the spell. Uh, we are raised with all kinds of messaging about who we are and what our capabilities are. And um, what if all of that is a spell that is cast upon us that we then internalize? What might be available to us if we were able to break the spell? Good morning, good morning, Rosalind. Welcome. So good to be here with you and with everybody else who's joining us. Um, before we get started talking about breaking the spell, uh, let's take a minute or two to get present. So let's take a deep breath into your nose and hold it. And imagine clean, crisp oxygen flooding your lungs, flowing into your bloodstream, nourishing all your cells, all your organs, bringing vital life energy to your body and being. And as you exhale, exhale any tension, stress, negativity, fatigue. And now let's take another deep breath in through your nose and hold it. This time, imagine brilliant, bright light lighting you up from the inside out, illuminating, electrifying, and energizing all your cells, all your molecules, your electrons, creating a brilliant beam of light and energy from your heart out into the world. And as you exhale, exhale any remaining tension, stress, negativity, fatigue, and now let's press our palms together, vigorously rub your hands together to feel the friction, the pressure, the motion, the temperature, and the tickling and tingling when you stop. And allow all those sensations to bring you present right here, right now, into this remarkable physical form that enables you to experience life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we're going to talk about spells. And um, we could also think about it as hypnosis or programming or conditioning. And um, it's a spell because we never think to question it, right? We, we're raised, uh, often many of us, are raised with lots and lots of negative messaging to tell us that we're stupid or we're not smart enough or we're too demanding or we're weak or any number of messages that are gifted us by, by parents, by environments, by schools, by just living. And when we're told these things, particularly as children, we don't know to challenge them. And even if we do challenge them, it's like they've become sort of a, a mind worm, you know, where they are working on us and we're challenging them to fight against that notion that we might be those things that we're being told we are. So um, the rebelling against them in its own way is affirming those things as some kind of truth or reality. So when, when we wake up to the awareness that these are spells that have been cast and we can recognize them as spells or as programming, as hypnosis, as conditioning, we then have the power to choose differently. When we become, our awareness actually denatures the spell. 
So if I find myself giving myself these messages. So what what I, I grew up with certain messaging, I rebelled against it a lot. And then I went off to college and my parents weren't there as a foil against which I could push. And what I noticed was that I didn't need them to be giving me messaging because I was giving it to myself. I, I had adopted it as my own. And I think that this is a pretty standard practice, the beliefs that we have about ourselves. It's like spells have been cast upon us to believe this. And then we, that becomes the reality. Good morning. Good morning, Dido. Welcome. So good to have you here with us this morning. We're talking about breaking the spell and how uh, we we live with these spells or hypnosis programming conditioning that we have uh, just adopted as reality. And so when we can identify them, when we can bring them to light as the spell that they are rather than the fact that we believe them to be, that's the beginning of denaturing them because we can recognize when the spell is at work and when we can identify that when we can recognize that we can say oh that's a spell and i have free will and i can choose differently that's that's not the truth that's a spell. And as we free ourselves from these, these spells that have become beliefs, that have become truths for us, as we lift the veil, what is then available to us? Let's look at who, who could we be if we were free of that spell? It's easy to fall back into the spell because we've practiced it so deeply and so so religiously for so long, you know, because we believed it to be true. But when we allow ourselves to question it or to identify it, to call it out, we can then say, oh, that's just a spell. We can put it aside. We can start to explore who we can be beyond the the dimensions of that spell who can we be if we're not stupid or we're not incapable or we're not um deficient in some way or another Without that spell, we have a whole new world available to us to explore and a whole new way of being to explore because those, those spells that were cast were sent by somebody as a projection of their own limitations, their own defenses, their own perceptions, their own histories. And we just imbibed them, absorbed them as truth. So why? Well, a parent is, is a person who is indoctrinating us based on their own experience, perception, history, wounds, 